Hi, in this video we will look at solving the flow field around a propeller. The propeller geometry was imported into space claim. The simulation will be steady, so the fluid region around the propeller needs to be spinning at the prop's angular velocity. Sketch this fluid region as a disk that has a diameter slightly larger than that of the prop. Extrude it to slightly beyond the hub of the prop. Extrude from both sides, and use no merge. Use the combine tool, to create a void in the prop fluid. Select the prop as the cutter. And remove the generated solid. Suppress the prop geometry for physics. Next, create an enclosure around the prop. Make the enclosure a cylinder, and aligned with the prop axially. Uncheck Symmetric Dimensions. Set the forward length to 500 mm, the aft length to 1000 mm, and the radial length to 200 mm. Shinage the solid, prop fluid geometry, to a component. Delete the second enclosure, that forms inside the prop. Under the Workbench tab, select Share Topology. This allows Fluent to share the faces between fluid zones. Now, define the named selections. In this case there is an inlet. Define the radial section as a symmetry. And there is an outlet. And finally define the surfaces of the propeller as prop. The geometry setup is now complete. Save and close space claim. Next, open up standalone fluid. Use the watertight meshing workflow. Head to Import Geometry, and import the Propeller Space Claim file. For simplicity, no local sizings are generated. Set the global minimum size to 80 microns, this is to capture the small face, and curvature of the prop. Leave the default max and curvature size. Set the cells per gap to 3. Generate the surface mesh. Describe the geometry as, fluid with no voids. Change the fluid fluid boundary walls to internal. This allows the fluid to pass through the shared topology. Change the prop boundary to a wall. Keep the enclosure and prop fluid as a fluid region, change the prop to dead. Keep the default settings when creating the boundary layers. Fill the volume with polyhex core. Use the advanced settings to avoid the 1 8 octree transition. Create the volume mesh. Switch to solution. Thanks for watching. The next video in the series will be on solving and post processing.